Hello and welcome to the Call of Duty Championship presented by Xbox. It's time for the next game. I am Brycey and joining me for this one is Bioacid. Man, I am really looking forward to this. Obviously, FaZe up against Aztec. And this is like FaZe's chance to stay alive in this comp due to the fact that they lost to T1 earlier. Yes, it is. And that was a massive upset. We saw that going on. I know you were very happy about that being from Australia. I was a little bit upset because I had to go and kiss some feet. But you know what? Credit where credit is due. The guys, they won the game. They look fantastic. This game here, kind of think it's going to go phases way. I said that last time, but this is more clean cut in my opinion. Well, you know, I uh, was in the Echo stream and I did the, the chemical control for the T1 versus Aztec game. It was 3-0 to T1. Yes. So I'm sort of feeling, yeah, phase will be a 3-0 victory here as well against the Aztec gaming guys. These guys seem to be all right on the S&D squad sort of things, though. So, yeah, let me see. I mean, see. they got beat by SK, so... And they actually got 3 0 if I remember correctly. They almost come back on the SD from what I saw. Mm. But FaZe for me are definitely better than SK. I'm going to say 3 0 to FaZe. But you know what? It's been a day of upsets already. Has been. Do not count anything out here. We've got big stories going on everywhere at the moment. At the moment, Envy are actually fighting to keep alive at the moment on main stage. Because they, if they lose against Tech, they're pretty much done. And that would be a massive upset, you know, not qualifying for the event. It's sort of like, you know, Curse Locks Vegas not qualifying for this and, you know, just New Curse New York and Optic Gaming going head-to-head -to, -head to that last spot, you know, sort of thing. So yeah. it's sort of like that and then being, you know, not, not so much knocked out, but I guess being defeated in pool play even before you get double in, it would be the biggest upset. It would, it would be an absolute crushing blow to some of these teams here. Like I said, the amount of time actually put in to Call of Duty by some of these teams is phenomenal. So they're going to be really upset as we jump straight into the game underway and it's going to be Octane. straight on board with Aztec. You know, it's Octane as well. I haven't seen Octane yet so far for myself today. So it's it's good to see a bit of a mixture, a bit of a fresh map from my eyes. And of course, it is domination for the best out of five series first game in these guys. And the Aztec guys, you know, I'll do a bit of a slow sort of start of things. We are on board with the phase squad. Here three players right now, Plato is that fixed him up and cleans him out nicely as they push out towards mid-container. Of course, that is where the B-Flag's located, but we've seen J-Caps in there trying to cap it now. Here's J-Caps going to get there, and his team have control as well. Great start by this phase squad. Oh, the nade that come in and shut him down, and he wasn't able to do anything about it. And he thought, oh, that must have been a fantastic nade. I'd love to see where he threw it from. I've but seen now, now they're just going to hold on. I've seen a few players back behind, back of Pawn. They've got like, this nice little spot where they look up and it lands right in the top of that entrance of B. So if your players have strutted that, it's a good little position to have. And you saw replays. He did have a trophy system. You know, if Jacob had had that, obviously he would have saved his life. But if replays was in there, Matt would have helped out a bit more. And Proofy right now, six-point streak, four kills, two caps to his name. Excited to do doing Proofy's now starting to go off. This guy, comfortable with an AR, has been for a very long time. And now we're just going to keep an eye on him as he just holds it down here. He's not really moving to any power position. He's not looking to move up. He's just looking to sit in the middle and slay and let his teammates do the work. And you'll see him now just like slaying and slowing it down, getting the game paces they want to have right now. Usually I do see this in, from Australia's point of view, I guess you could say, you know, I see, sort of see a, an, a CB combination and they head to A, neutralize it, fall back, and then, you know, Humvee spawn yeah. trap sort of thing. Do you sort of see that a bit more in these sort of yeah, things as well? You, you certainly do, and uh, they are being a little bit cautious at the moment. I'm thinking, obviously, FaZe do not want to overextend. They do not want to let anything go. But there we go, Classic. It looks like he's going to go for it right now. Is going to be a player come through. Does slip away. Does not get the Ooh. neutralization, though. Timed it wrong. Unfortunate for him, but he picks that one up anyway. He's going to get it. However, B has been taken away from them. The overextend not working in their favor, but Replay is going to try and bring it back. You just see there, they are capturing that C fly. They're losing A, but if they can get B back and then they just keep A, you know, neutral, head into it, you know, mutualize it once again over and over again, it'll really help them get a much more of a lead. And that's what I was talking about this moment ago with that CB combination. Then is heading into A to neutralize it this time. But they are losing. See, right now, Replay is falling back to try and find this player who's back here, and he finally picks him up. Dynamax. Nice little work to him to neutralize that C flag. J-Cap's going to get picked up here as he's been sniffing Jeeps. Does try to turn and take it. Not able to as FaZe look like they're digging in at the moment. Let's jump on board with someone from Aztec and it's going to be Clumsy. Here yeah, with Clumsy. Of course, from the Aztec side of things. And he's also has just mentioned Afro. Coming on a four-point streak for his team as well here. They are down only with the one flag to their hands, the A flag. And it's just like that, you know, you're going to see FaZe setting up with that control area and they're just forcing these guys, you know, to spawn just at the back of Humvee. Spawn out behind Strip Club. And it's really costing them there. They can't really get any map control back. Proof is sitting here in the middle part of the map outside of the Strip. Waiting for these guys to come make their way. Classic trip cap right now for that phase squad. Sending now Classic. 
just trying to hold down. Look at it. He's just managed to keep away from that and capture it. Bullets were going down on him, but he's got away. His teammates cleaning up as well. They're going to push forward here. Classics, another pick in the middle. Trying to go long range. Tar does not happen to get him for against it, but does manage to clean up eventually. But ends up exposing himself to enemy fire. Proof comes around and says, thank you very much for the two-piece. Yeah, nice work there for these guys to control them out once again. Obviously, they lost the C flag, but they're still at the A now. So it's really going to hit, accumulate their more and more points in their favor. Minute 30 still remaining here on that clock. So these guys do have more time to get that lead increased even more. Now they obviously were aiming for the 100-point area. They're on 68 right now, so I think it's going to be very close to doable. I don't think they'll get there. They might be about 95 towards the end there, but I, I could be mistaken. Just right now, you'll see Neos from that Aztec side of things up high on top of Pawn now across the hotel. We see a player, thanks to Oracle Mode, of one of the face squad over there, but these Aztec guys need to get a second flag. It certainly is now. Clumsy was the man we're jumping on board with. Let's see what he can do on the sticks. He tries to go into gas. He's going to get taken down before he can do anything. Now on the Afro is heavily tagged up. He's just looking at B here, and he actually has two enemy players right next to him. He's going to go down as well. And now we see another battle going on the other side of the map. It's going to be dynamic versus replays. But no, his teammate Jcat cleans that one up. Big shots coming out there. Replays on an eight-point streak right now for the phase squad. So really cleaning up and doing a lot of work. You see him inside of broken right now. So he pushes on out and through there at the overextension. Can't see no players challenging this time around. Seaflake currently neutralized, though. Has to fall back. We see a player inside of gas thanks to the Oracle mode. So he's thinking, will they come back for it? They're currently losing the B flag, but capping A. If they go to the capping C, and it's something a bit different, I guess, having the, the two Oh, no way! Oh. Replays just slapped him down. Poor Afro. Oh, Afro, you've got to be embarrassed with that one. Replays just made you look silly, my son. Nice shots coming out there as they pick up that A, the C flag, sorry. They've also grabbed A at the exact same time, so now they lose C. Just like that, it's going to be Aztec with the two flag advantage, and these guys have to do this earlier off. They took a bit too long to get that situation happening. It's going to finish up roughly about a 99-point game. No, 97, I didn't see an update. So 97 to 47, points. so a big game indeed for the phase guys. Difference. So that is just over four minutes of a two cap to one. That is a massive deal. And I said, I was explaining this with Mr. X earlier. When you break it down like that, what you actually have to do to win, it seems even harder. Yeah, well, luckily these guys can't hear us because if they could, they'd just be like, oh, wow, we're done. But, you know, you take, you, you know, you get one triple cap, you can hold it for a minute. Uh, admittedly, that's a very difficult thing to do, but it will bring you back 36 points. Especially if You'd the still be behind? But it would, it would, that would make it a little bit easier. Oh, it would be, you know, especially if they do that CB combination and then just hit A, neutralize it, even if they try and cap it sometimes. With that Humvee and, and strip sp um, spawn lockdown, if they can lock that down and do it efficiently, you know, they can easily get that lead, get that challenge back. But I, th I can't really see it happening at the moment. Phases, it, it domination would be game. They, they would have to have that two cap and the neutral in for just over two minutes. Yeah, and Phase's domination game right now is just really up there. It would seem up against these guys. So we'll have to wait and find out. Go, another five minute half sort of come and. I, you, you can't count them out, but based on what they actually have to do against FaZe, FaZe would really have to let it go here. I don't see them making that many mistakes. No, not at all. Where Aztecs are going to be able to come back into this game, and that's kind of the difference here. How on earth do you come back from that far down? Even if you have a good half, are you going to have a good enough half to go 50 points up? Hmm. It's rare. Oh, it is indeed. You know, as I said earlier, throughout all the dominations I've pretty much casted today, you know, when it, when it gets down to that the 30, 40, 50 point mark for domination, it's sort of really hard to get that lead back. It's sort of hard to even tie it back down. And usually only when you see like a sort of a team that may have been, you know, sort of equal to a, to a point that they sort of can sneak away with that. Yeah. But when you, when you see sort of see what these slaying was like just moments ago during that first half, I think slaying wise and map control wise, it was just all phase. Yeah, it, it really I mean, you saw Proof in the middle there. He, he was in no rush to go anywhere. He sat in the middle. He was like, I'm just going to pick up the kills. And my teammates keep kind of mixing it up with them a little bit in front of me. Anybody who slips past, I'm just going to pick them off. They're not going to be ready for me to just lock this down and keep it locked down. And that's what they did. Uh, and that's why they're so far ahead. No, it was great to see. Obviously, the next half at the start back up as well. FaZe is looking for that 3-0, though. They want to make sure that they just say, listen, guys, yeah, we, we lost against T1, but it's not going to happen anymore. We're just going to keep messing and just... Taking any team that comes their way. Of course, Aztec, you know, they did versus T1 earlier off. They did get 3 0 by T1 at that stage. So, you know, it's just interesting to see. But like I said, their SD game against T1 was a close one. I think it was like 6 4 in the SD, I believe, of memory. Not too sure. I mean, 6 3, but, you know, still a good game. And nonetheless, going to kick things off, though, I think, with the phase squad and just see how these guys are going to be doing here in the second half of Domination on Octane. I'm going to jump my ball with replays first of all. Let's see how he's going to do here with the vector in his hands. I imagine he's going to go straight near strip, run down the left and try to get some cutoffs. 
uh, and see if he can get a first pick. And obviously right to that right-hand side, straight towards Strip, looking for any players that might be challenging them here with that C-spawn flag. This is interesting. It's, I haven't seen anyone actually do this, like hit straight into top Strip and then now try, he may even neutralize A straight away. I think that's what he's playing for. However, look at the amount of bodies actually around him. Going to get picked up straight away. It didn't really achieve much, but it was an interesting strategy for him to try out. So if he managed to get that off, or if there had been a big push into B, then he might have been able to get the neutral straight off. Yeah, I think what he was trying to do, obviously, is just get their focus back to A, whether it's the teammates pushed up and perhaps attacked B there, just to get them the B flag earlier off in the round. Because usually what you do see on Octane is a slower B capture. You know, they try and get a bit of map control, a bit of map set up first, then they'll push in for the B once they have a better two or three down. They will now. J-Cap card just up top. Just trying to make sure he can hold this down for his team. Let's turn the Oracle mode back on and see how he's going to do this. His teammate's actually getting B here. He's trying to lock it down. Look at the amount of bodies <laughs> arraying and stacking up to come against him. Now on board with replays. Replays coming into gas right now as a few players are in that B area. They do own the C and B flag, though, so they don't have to worry about it unless it's currently being taken in through the smoke as a player there, though. Nice shots coming out to pick up Dynamic there. As he's going up an overextension inside a strip right now, he may just oh, overextend. Away. Oh, Almost turns around. That would have been the second time in this game Afro had been turned on. So with a knee is up top. He's going to get it taken down as soon as I jump to him, though. Now on board with Clumsy. Currently one and four. Can he change his fortune here? He is heavily tagged up, and there's going to be someone coming around the corner just a second. Does actually put shots down. Oh, look at that. Managed to get away before he even gets hit. <laughs> Turns fire, not able to do anything there either, and his teammate is just trying to get in there with him, not able to do anything. Now, ball with Niels. I just want to note, for a lot of time during that play, just then there was a phase member on the outside of co on the container there at B, and he was just laying there. He did not e engage with it unless he had to, because it was happening here. And just like that, it's going to be classic falling on back. So that's, that was his job, just to, you know, don't engage unless they're actually trying to cap B off, off us. Just stay there, stay alive, and just, you know, keep these guys away. J-Cap, nice two-piece there for the nade, and then the... Remington shot as well. B is currently neutralized, but again, it's not something to face it to worry about because they already had the lead. Yeah, they can kind of just play this loose and fast here. If they want to keep it neutral in the middle for a little bit longer, that's up to them. They can literally just play defense on that B for the entire game as long as it's neutral. However, it has been captured now, and like I said, time is running short here. They really have got to step it up. They're going to need that two, uh, that triple cap for about two minutes now. They're that far behind. They are indeed down to the final quarter of this domination we go. It's a 10-point lead here in the second half, plus the 50-point lead they have from that first. So a total of 60 right now. Clumsy inside of gas from the Aztec side of things here. They had the A and B flag, but then they got to try and hold on for the remaining of that time. I would try and even neutralize C to stop any more points being accumulated by the opposition team being phased right now. Even if they held that for the rest of this game, they still would not win. Yeah, it's, they it's literally have to triple cap from now until the end to try and win it. Wow, well, it's just, you know, that, that sort of information in realising that, I, obviously Aztec don't right now, they're, they're sort of just focusing on trying to get this kill and trying to get the caps as they can. But when you stop and just think about it, it is going to be a very hard job. We're here with J-Cap now, top of Broken, just looking over towards the map, and it would seem even, you know, FaZe, they're not really pushing for the second a second flag here. They're just sort of like just staying with the C and just getting a, a few kills at the moment. Well, they must have worked out the same thing I did. <laughs> it's now all tied up. One minute 30 left to go. It's it's very, very close. No, they're not going to get 50 if they can points get a triple in a minute cap. 25. Yeah, if they can get a triple cap literally right now, it will be just minutely close. However, I don't see them getting a triple cap here. It seems like FaZe are just kind of digging in. They're kind of just laying back and, you know what, we're going to absorb the pressure. We're not going to lose our own home flag. If we do, we can turn it up and just try to trade it off. You know, it's great to see Aztecs, you know, still very much fighting in this domination yeah. game. Even though they were down by 50 points in their first half, they're still very much fighting right now here in the second minute to go. And they're just, like, slaying a little bit here. Bill, map control, Afro, nice little two clean two-piece there from his Emtar moments ago. He gets picked up by Jacob, though. And now Neo has picked up a nice knife there on replays as well. So, you know, even though these guys are down, they're still putting up a great fight. And it's really good to see. It's what you want to see at this sort of competition. They are alive and in the lead during the second half here. Grant, only by a few points, but still it's a lead nonetheless. But overall, it is going to be fast to take out the first game. Problem for Aztecs is the pressure is now going to really mount on them. If they lose this one as well, then they're looking at like the team guaranteed not to go through to tomorrow. Oh, and exactly. that's going to weigh heavily on their mind. Oh, it will indeed. Obviously, it'll be the, the match against SK that they'll have to, I guess, try and answer back with. They certainly will. But funny enough, if they do that, it could end up a four-way tie. Can you imagine if everybody beats everybody? Wow. That, that would, would be, be interesting. That would be incredible. I don't see it happening, unfortunately, because if FaZe win this one, obviously they will have two wins to one loss. And that would actually be all their games played. 
That would be interesting indeed. Proof on a four-point streak here to try and end off the second half. He will indeed in 76 to 73. So big effort there by Aztec to answer back for a few points there, but could not do it in the end. 53-point game to phase right there with that first one. Domination on Octane to go in their favor. So an SD up next and then a blitz to follow. We sort of feeling that was going to be a three out of phase. You know, a nice start. You kind of have to give it to them. Let's be honest here. It's still phase. They've already had an upset once this tournament. I don't really think yeah. they want a second one. Oh, they're they're going to just be play as hard as possible to just make sure they do not mess their chances up of getting through. Of course, ladies and gentlemen, like I said, S&D up next. The series score is one out of phase right now, though. Quick commercial break with that game number two. Come out in just a moment. 